All right, we're going to show you ways of uh, improving your yield and, and processes of uh, punching holes in angle. Uh, the days of having to take your soapstone and mark out a one inch hole, lay out your pattern, and now go back and center punch that hole. We, we can show you faster, easier ways. Say we're going to show you that on our Scotchman 50 ton iron worker. With the Scotchman 50 ton iron worker, we're going to show today again that how to uh, increase your productivity by using a, a razor gauge stop and feed system. With this system, we have multiple offsets, so we can change my offset on the screen. I'm going to go to an angle shear offset. So now we're calibrated the offset. I'm going to cut a piece uh, four and seven eighths long. 4.875, let's enter. Machine goes back to that. back to the front of the machine. Now we're going to switch the software to the punch side. So we change our offset back to a uh, punch offset. Now I want to go into, we'll say I want to put a three holes here. We're going to put a hole um, one inch from each end using a program called Auto Calc. The auto calculation tells me up front I'm programmed in for a 4.875 inch length of part. I'm going to go to the first hole. Go to the second hole, which is automatically calculating an inch from the opposite end. Now if I want a third hole, we can go to the center hole, which calculates the center of whatever length of part you're cutting. Fast and easy clip. With the auto calc, it's as simple as programming in your length of part. Or we'll show you a longer length. We're going to do a 22 inch part. So a uh, new value, we'll tell it 22 inch. That changed my part length. So now we'll go ahead and go backwards. I'm going to go uh, set my angle shear, angle shear offset set. I want a 22 inch part. Flip this back to shear. To twenty two inch length. your offset again back to the punch. Tell it I have a 22 inch part. Go back to our auto calc. I'm going to do again do the three hole location. First hole, I'm going to go to the hole on the other end. Now we'll add the center hole. There's your finished bracket. See, I need a hole a fourth of the way across. We also go to the quarter length. The auto calc process.
process gives you very fast, easy location of your holes, all without having to do the math. All you do is change your x-axis so it knows exactly the length of the part. It'll do the, uh, the calculating for you to let you know where you need to push your hole. All your operator does, slide the material up to the stop, punch the hole.